morning. So I'm not going to be crawl and inflict you uh, with um, more close-ups of my face. Um, it's just pure pottery this morning. So here is the haul that I pulled from the kiln earlier this morning now that it's cooled down enough to, to tackle. This is a new glaze that I have. It's uh, it's like a chun blue and I mixed it, um, I dipped it with an, a nice light oatmeal. Some really nice sized bowls in there. I'm really pleased with these. Some chunky mugs and some nice vases. I love the way sometimes, you know, it's I didn't plan for that to happen, but that's the whole thing with the kiln. You know, you, you get some lovely reactions and um, and the glaze just it, it kind of does what it wants to do. Um, as with most firings, as you can uh, as you can imagine, there's never a hundred percent success rate. So I'll show you a couple of the bits and bobs that didn't come out the way I wanted. Um, sometimes things stick to the shelf, which is what I was talking about before, and this happens. Um, you think, great, that's fired wonderfully. You know, I did clean it off. You know, proof is there. It, it was all sorted, but just a little bit decided to stick to the shelf. And it all comes and it stays to the shelf and it comes off and um, which is very annoying but it's not a waste of a bowl because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that myself and I'm going to make it a little planter and um, it's going to sit on my back step also this one this one did the same thing um, it still looks lovely on the top but I'm going to turn that into a little planter and have some nice little maybe pansies in there. This one, the the bottom was, you can see that, clearly a bit too thin and in the kiln it had just shrunk back and it's cracked. It was honestly fine before I put it in but it must have just been that, that little bit too thin. So again, I'm going to use that as a planter and it's actually got draining purposes. So... Right, okay, um, I'm still in my jammies, so I'm not gonna be throwing anything just yet. I'll, um, oh yeah, I'll just show you these. These are some of the bits and bobs that I've done before. I'm making um, lanterns. You know, you can like, these are for outside, for putting candles in, all the, all the anti-midge stuff. Um, and then they should shine through and be really nice. So I've, I've done a few of those. I've reloaded Dave. This is Dave the Kiln. <laughs> and um, I've got some more other lovely bits and bobs, big, big bowls and mugs and all kinds of stuff in there. So that is now ready for a bisque fire, which it doesn't get to the same heat as the glazing fire. This goes up to about 850. Um, and that is the firing that basically turns what is clay this is just dried mud that you see here and this is what basically turns it into ceramic that is able to uh, be dipped into glaze um it's not it's still very very porous at that stage so you couldn't like drink from it or hold water in it it would just absorb it right up this is a piece that has just been bisque fired and it's got that rough texture it's got nothing to it that would just absorb water in it and it's no use just yet this is like a little cheese board um so yeah so the bisque fire will go on possibly not today maybe tomorrow we'll see how i get on um and Stu gets a bit twitchy if the kiln goes on too often as you can imagine anyway have a, a good morning and i'll try and i'll try and get some throwing done later bye okay so um i've um, I've got this, this lump of clay here. I've wedged it. I've made sure that I've got rid of all the um, air bubbles in it and stuff and I'm ready to go for a big bowl. Now Stu's my filmer tonight. Give him the thumbs up Stu. Oh. <laughs> You're rubbish. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Right okay uh, so I'm going to hopefully show you how to throw a bowl and if this doesn't work um, I'll be scrubbing it down again. So we've got to get the bat a little bit damp so as it sticks center so what we've then got to do we've got to get the, the, um, the wheel up to a good speed so we've got to center it so it's going to kick back until we get it absolutely settled so i can feel it's not totally centered yet
getting better. got to really keep it wet. So, right, okay, so now we're going to work. So I've slowed the wheel down a little bit for this. Don't want to go down too, too low, otherwise the bottom will be too thin. So basically we're going to get like the basic shape of the bowl and then we're going to work on the base as to how big I want it to be. Okay. I'm going to flatten out. I'm keeping a thumb on this bit here because it keeps it nice and even. So I quite like the high sided bowls, they're really nice for kind of pasta or for like a fruit bowl, you know, in the middle of the table. So I'm slowing the wheel down again because I'm getting a feel for how the bowl's kind of building. flattening the base out a bit more. There we go. So that's quite a decent sized bowl. There is a little bit of um, shrinkage with this clay. Um, it's something like about 7%, so this, this will shrink back. So the inside's dry, so I'm just going to work on shaping the, the bottom a little bit. So we're going to give it a bit of a foot. And then smooth it off. If you want to, this little tool will go up and it'll actually ridge the outside of the bowl. Which I quite like that effect. Mm. It looks nice with the glaze. There we go, and there is one bowl. So to take it off the bat, slow it right down, and we run the cutter along. And then as that dries, that'll lift, and I'll be able to take it off the bat. Okay, so we're gonna set that to one side to dry. So that's the bowl. Can you see? Mm -hmm. It's a decent size, that one. All right. I'll put that across here and um, and I'll have a go at throwing something with a bit more of a shape. So we need a, a clean, a new bat. Should we stop using? Hmm? Okay, so I've prepped another bit of clay and it's on the bat and we've got it nice and nice and soaked so I can just get it. So I can work with it better. This is good for your bingo wind. So taking it up and down actually like works the clay, gets all the there shouldn't be any bubbles in it anyway because it's brand new clay, but it gets it nice, nice and even, and you get a feel for it being settled on the wheel. If it's wonky, it'll kind of all kick back, and then you know by the feel that it's not right. So, I'm going to do a slightly different technique. I'm just going to go down, straight down with my thumb, but again, not too far. And I'm going to pull it out. Slowing down the wheel again. while keeping a, a kind of eye on the level of the pot at the top. If it gets too lopsided at the top, you can cut it off, but it's, uh, so I'm trying to go for a little bit more height with this one. That's better. So I've worked on my base and I'm now coming, coming up at the sides. 
making sure that the top is better. Okay, so that one came up quite quickly, that was quite good. I'm drying off the inside and I'm just going to flatten out in there. Well, this would make a nice kind of salad or a serving bowl. If you want to, which I quite like, I like to do the 